Welcome back to Nerf Range Day. I am Captain Xavier and I am being harassed by a crow! I will give him grief. You guys have voted on some fun stuff today. We have Boomco, we have Vortex Rings, and we have Zombie Strike. Uh, I've got all of the Vortex Blasters out because I only have the four. I've then got four Boomco Blasters. I don't think I've ever fired several of them. And then we have a bunch of Zombie Strikes, several of which I have never fired. In fact, they were fresh out of the box this morning. Ain't never been sniffed. Should be good. Let's do this. We will start small with the Boomco Halo M6 pistol thing? Question mark? Something like that. My first introduction to Boomco was getting constantly sniped by Walcom at our Nerf Wars with him because they are quite accurate and have an excellent range and he was very, very good with them. Let's see if I can hit anything at all. We'll start with 25. There's a bit of a breeze. We'll see how much that messes with me today. Oof. I'm thinking the spring in this was left sprung. Hmm. Yes. This one could use some K26. I got a hit! Huh. Just gotta arc it in there. Come on. There we go. Alright, if we arc it, can we can we get the further back? Uh, I'm gonna hit the trees before I hit that. We'll try it anyway. Ah, I hit a tree. Alright, we try something bigger. Right, for bigger, we have the Batman Boomco thing. Now, this one, I believe, has K26 in it and has had its lock removed, so you don't have to worry about it perpetually being primed. Uh, we'll see Ooh, if it's any better. Oh yeah, much better. Oh, so much better that I'm aiming too high. There we go, all right. Ah, those darts. Try the 50. Oh, I got the range, so I can get the windage. Hey, hey, I got it. Get one that's up close. Headshot. Still overcompensating, because I'm expecting it to drop too much. Oh, that was a bad dart. One more, here we go. Ha, it's a hit. All right, something fancier. Picked this one up fairly recently. I don't remember where. Uh, it's obviously the uh, Halo tactical shotgun. It, it, it feels small, but you know, Boomco, what are you gonna do? Uh, and it takes one of their harmonica slide clip things, which is neat because it holds 20 rounds, which is impressive, and it's pump action, and um, it definitely does not have K26 in it yet. I need to feature it in a K26 episode. I need another blaster to go along with it that I haven't done already. See if I can hit anything. No. Well, there we go. Definitely needs that K26. There we go. Headshot. Round complete. Now we're getting into the fun stuff. I have no idea what this is called, and I don't care. It's magazine fed. That's got one of the uh, another 20 round, 20 round magazine, uh, and is pump. So it pumps up, and then it's fully automatic, similar to like a mag strike or anything like that. So you pull the trigger, and it just I want to know if we can get a full clip out of one tank. So it, the OPRV is kicking in. Let's see what happens if we just spray. Well, it didn't fire the last one, but I think that was a misfire. Yeah, so, I mean, we're getting 25 feet with the air-powered one. Spring-powered ones upgraded and all of that are much more powerful, obviously. Uh, I got one more. You know where this is going. No, oh, yes, Iyer fires Boomco. Last time, I think it was last time, we used Iyer's Boomco barrel to fire Mega. Now we're gonna use it to actually fire Boomco. 
and well. Alright, let's go for... Let's go for 50. Oh, I got the range, I don't have the accuracy. Whew, straight as an arrow, love it. I got another one. We have a shotgun attachment. Focus. Uh, it's from the twisted spinner or something like that. Fires eight all at once. It's been a long time since I fired it. I have no idea how well it does. Let's give it a try. I am not impressed. Try that again. We try it again. Much better. Much better. Um, the size of it unfortunately makes it difficult to actually pump it while it's attached. No, I didn't have it all the way pumped. Um, there is also, the barrels aren't great, but more to the point, there's a lot more dead space in there than I should have left. I definitely could have optimized that a lot more, but uh, I didn't know what I was doing back then. This is one of my early, early mods. So, ah, all right, let's take a look at them Vortex rings. Right, we have Vortex, not the Vortex discs that you may be used to, these fire rings. Uh, rubbery rings. I only have the one original. I thought I had more than one, but I may have actually fired them and they're still in an ammo catcher somewhere. But I also have a hundred 3D printed ones using TPU that someone sent me, which are awesome. They, uh, they're a, a little bit different. The original ones were in fact tapered as they went towards the back. Uh, whereas these are just straight and symmetrical, but they do still fly fairly well. We're gonna see how well. I'm gonna fire this one and then I'll fire a bunch of the 3D printed ones. So they load just on like that. You prime it and you fail to fire somehow. How dare you? Pull yourself together. Try it again. No. So it doesn't want to fire the original ammo, probably because it's a little bit worn out. We'll try the homemade stuff. See if it'll fire that. It will. We'll fire it some more. See if I can actually hit anything with it. Aha! Kind of a bounce off the tree, but I'll take it. Too much windage, okay. Aim this way a little. Ah, direct hit! They're actually really fun. I got some more, let's take a look at a bigger one. So that was the pistol, this is the rifle, carbine, whatever you want. It's larger, other than that it's pretty much exactly the same, other than it does have ammo storage. We'll see if it will fire the original ring. Oh, it will, fire that real nice. And we can just pull a ring out. Oh, no good. Oh, that ain't good. <laughs> oh, we almost hit the further back one. Gotta remember to uh, load it before you prime it. All right, let's hit this one. Or not. Oh, here we go. No, stop doing that. There we go. All right, one more, here we go. Oh, hit the tree. I got another fun one. Here we have the Power Strike. At least that's what it's called. It has, as you can see, two barrels. I don't know if this is actually supposed to be ammo storage, but it works as ammo storage, so I'm using it as ammo storage. It primes from the top. When you pull it back, it first primes the top one, then it primes the second one. And I don't know how it does that. That is actually pretty neat. And then it's got two triggers, one for the top and one for the bottom. And that is just spiffy. And you can fire them both at once. Pretty, pretty schnazzy. Feels like it's gonna fall apart. I got one more, and it's a neat one. This wicked looking thing I have courtesy of Luchathor13, who is awesome. You should definitely go check out his channel, as long as you are an adult. 
Uh, it is a six shot revolver. Uh. Rotate. There we go. Rotates. Primes on the top, fires on the back. Does not have the most comfortable of grips, but I don't care. It does have some, I hit the further back one. <laughs> it does have some issues wanting to do that, but it's neat and I hit some stuff and it's weird. Rings, man, rings. All right, I know what you're all wondering. And no, no, Iyer does not yet have any way of firing Vortex rings. I've pondered a couple of options, but nothing has worked short of basically making one of those an attachment that just attaches to it, and that's not the same thing. Trying to figure out how to fire one of those rings using compressed air, the only thing I could think of is something that basically is an air piston that has a firing mechanism similar to one of those, but instead of being spring-powered, it's air-powered and the air forces the thing forward. But I just don't think it would have the power. But I haven't tried it yet. I may someday. I just have no idea how I would fabricate that, because it needs to go forward and twist, because the ring has to be spinning in order to work. That's part of what keeps it in the air. It's kind of a Magnus effect, but rotating sideways kind of thing. It's weird. Um, but yeah, doesn't have it yet. All right, on to the zombie strike. <sighs> All right, we have the alternator. This one's brand new. I think it arrived either yesterday or the day before. I got it for K26, so it will be featured soon. But for now, we're just going to fire it. Um, when I first saw it, I assumed, like most people assumed, that it wasn't actually going to be a shotgun pistol, that it was going to fire one dart from here, you go to here, and then it was a smart AR that would fire the top one and then the bottom one, then you switch it to here, be a smart AR that would fire the top one, then the next one, the next one. But it turns out, that's got way more power than I expected. That has less power than I'd hoped, and that's just tragic. Uh, but it does, in fact, fire all the barrels at once on whichever setting it's on, which is actually, in my opinion, really neat. Not how I would have done it, though. Um, rather than having it swing like this, I would have gone with something that rotates, because then it wouldn't have been so awkwardly shaped and you might have actually been able to holster it. But as it is, the first barrel actually has a lot of power. Too much power, actually, for a single dart. The second one isn't bad. And then the third one, you're lucky to hit a target at 20 feet. But it's, it's neat. The fact that you can go from a fairly high-powered single shot, if you're firing better ammo, say AccuStrikes or AccuFakes or um, Adventure Force, uh, the top one would actually be an excellent single shot pistol. And then if you needed a shotgun for whatever reason, whether it was, you know, a zombie that takes multiple hits or you're just panicked, um, you can flip to the bottom one easily enough. The middle one, less easy to, to quickly flip to because you're likely to overextend, but just going from there to there and then firing, that actually works. I like it. It's a neat gimmick. I would have gone with a different mechanic, but that's just me. Hey, right, I get another one. All right, swap it over to a completely different ammo type because there are zombie strike blasters that use the arrows which is neat this is the wrath bolt and it it fires the, the the long plasticky arrow things which are i think actually pretty cool uh let's see if i can hit anything with it oh i think it's like a truck All right, let's see if i can get the 50. no apparently not Go for the 25 again. Oh, that is so satisfying. The whistle and the thunk. Oh, <laughs> All right, get another one. Up next, we have the Scravenger. Not the Scavenger, the Scravenger. I got it right, you pedantic Avengers. Uh, and it's it's neat. It's, it's an upgraded sling fire. It has basically one major additional feature. In addition to having, like, Addition, you know, it, it, has, it can take a stock, it can take barrel attachments, but it also has some additional features. It has slam fire, 
But first, I'm just gonna see how accurate it is. I don't know that I've ever actually fired this thing. This is obviously not the original stock and I don't have any of the other attachments because uh, they just hamper things. Uh, but let's give it a try. Okay, got a little more power than I thought. Maybe a little less power than I thought. There we go. By flipping this switch, I swear that never happens, uh, it becomes slam fire. So when you prime it, as soon as it comes back, it fires. Which is neat. Flip it back, and now you can do regular things like the flip prime. Ah, okay. Or one handed priming. not hitting anything at all. All right, I got one more. <sighs> this one is also fresh out of the box. Brand new batteries. This was sent to me by a fan who was awesome. Car? Rude. Uh, it is stock, so don't expect too much out of it, but let's see. I do like the 18 round magazine that you can actually see the line on. That's pretty nifty. All right, let's see what the stock revoltinator can do. It makes noise. What's going on? Why you do this? Why you do this? It can apparently jam. That is what it can do. <laughs> Having issues with my revoltinator. I am not impressed. It is basically just a strife with an inordinately long barrel, and that makes Lights and noise, which probably draws some of the current and makes it a little bit weaker. But, uh, gosh, it's neat. I do want to upgrade it. I really do. I'd have to separate or, um, put resistors on the current so it didn't blow out the LEDs and the audio or anything like that. But, uh, it's a really neat form factor. I really, really like it. It's one of the few cobbled together, made out of scrap ones that I actually really appreciate. I really do like that magazine, though. That is neat looking. All right. Pretty sure you all know where this is going. No one is surprised by this. Now obviously the Stampede is not part of the Zombie Strike line, but I built Ire specifically to hunt zombies, and she has a Zombie Strike logo, so she totally counts. So I'm gonna fire her. Uh, and you're gonna see why I haven't fielded Ire in a while, and why I, can't, I keep saying that Ire needs a complete overhaul, because she's been sitting a long time and peace has not been good for her. She will technically fire? I think? Question mark? It's actually better than I was expecting. Uh, but yeah, one of my quarantine goals is to finally get IR completely overhauled. Uh, metal gears, upgraded spring, rewired for lipo, redo all the wiring for all of the peripherals. Uh, and really bring it up to a modern standard. I don't think I'm going to change the um, the bolt. I don't want to, to get her up to like the 140s or anything. I would rather, I'd love to get it to around 100. 90 would actually be perfectly acceptable for me as well because it's meant for HVZ. Short range is fine. If I need to hit something from far away, that's what this is for. Uh, or, you know, a better sidearm, something along those lines. Or better yet, a marksman standing next to me. Eh. Uh, but yeah, I want to get Ire overhauled so that is there mildew on my magazines? It is damp here. Damp. Damp, sir. Damp. Damp, I say. And now for the carnage. Most of the stuff is at least past the 
15 foot mark. <laughs> Got a lot of Boomco, a lot of rings, the arrows, more Boomco, darts. Absolute mess. Don't have too much past the 50. Nothing I was shooting was terribly powerful. I think we got one. One Boomco. One lone Boomco. Here at exactly the 65. Train! Welcome to the far end of the range. We're here at the 100 foot mark and I have set up a target. A ring toss target. The goal is going to be to get a ring onto that target uh, using the Vortex ring launchers. This is, of course, the comm test. You get to guess how many shots is it going to take me to get a ring on that. I, uh, I've got over a hundred rounds. Hopefully I don't have to gather them. I might. Uh, last time, nobody ever actually guessed the correct number. The correct answer last time was 43. Someone got really close. They guessed 42. And it was 43, which I, if I recall, is the number of orcs Gimli kill, killed at Helm's Deep. So, eh, still, still a noteworthy nerdy number. But, we're going to go through a, a bunch of the different blasters. I may try some trick shots. We'll see. Uh, hopefully the net will catch most of the rings and I won't have to go searching in the swamp. Here we go. Do keep in mind, I am going to edit most of the misses out, so you can't just count them. You are going to have to guess. Ha-ha! Now stop. Would you... Would you stop it? You would think I would learn by now. Load. Then prime. It was close. This is going to take forever. So close. The wheel! Train! Uh -huh. More firepower is needed! I'll take it. I got it, but it bounced off. I recommend guessing high. I'll give you a clue. I had to gather once, but not twice. Uh -huh. So, survey for what I fire next time will be down in the video description. I don't know when the next one will be. I actually do have some fun videos for next week. I have a uh, dry, uh, airbrushing tutorial that I'm hopefully going to get done, actually figure out how to do. Um, Bay Browning of the Auxiliary came up and taught me the basics and now I need to sit down and tinker with it and finish the paint job that we started. Uh, and uh, we also have a Nerf Science episode that he has uh, essentially commissioned because he, there was a question he really wanted answered so we're gonna try to answer it or I'm gonna try to answer it we'll see how that turns out uh, yeah lots of Lego videos coming as well Captain Xavier's Lego channel not sure why that's so hard to find if you search Captain Xavier and Lego guess who comes up uh, yeah yeah things are going well things are going well thank you for watching where's that crow come, come here
those of you who are wondering, and I know many of you are, the reason I'm using the handcart is the golf cart has a dead battery. Now those of you who didn't comment before getting to this part, well done! You have learned commenting etiquette 101. Those of you who have not shall receive snark. In fact, everyone who has not commented on it already has my express permission to mock you mercilessly for asking a comment that was answered in the video. Shame for shame for shame.